students i am hina kadri your teacher for the day children you must have observed different things around you some of them are living some are not living frogs insects plants human beings are living things while as soil sand air and water are non living things living things carry out certain basic functions like excretion digestion respiration reproduction movement and growth all plants and animals are living things yet they look different from each other however all of them are made up of microscopic units called cell yes children today our topic is cell structure and function in this chapter we are going to study about the discovery of the cell postulates of cell theory shape and size parts of cell functions of cell organelles difference between plant cell and animal cell do you know children cells are the basic structural and functional unit of life they are capable to perform all the activities important for life cell is the basic constituent of our body cells are minute and can be seen with the help of a microscope children do you know how this cell was discovered an english scientist robert hooke discovered cell in 1665 he observed thin slices of cork under his self designed microscope he noticed large number of compartments in cork slice and named these compartments or boxes as cells cell in latin means small rooms robert hooke had actually seen the dead walls of the plant cells even after 150 years very little was known about the cell until microscopes with high magnifications were made children now we will discuss about the cell theory it was the work of three eminent german biologist schwann schelidian and rudolf virchow they conceptualized the cell theory The postulates of this cell theory are all living organisms are made up of cell cell is the basic unit of life new cells arise from pre-existing ones these postulates of the cell theory form the basic principle of biology children cells are complex in nature and are present in various numbers shapes and sizes according to the number of cells organisms can be classified into two groups multicellular organisms unicellular organisms living organisms are made up of one cell or many cells organisms made of one cell are known as unicellular organisms paramecium amoeba euglena are few examples the single cell of these organisms behave like a complete organism and perform all the basic activities then organisms made of many cells are known as multicellular organisms most of the plants and animals around us are multicellular organisms and are made up of several billion cells now children are these cells similar in their shape and size no they show variation in terms of their shape and size shape of the cell is dependent on the function of the cell yes the shape is dependent on the function of the cell let's take an example of nerve cell what is the function of nerve cell nerve cells carry messages in the body and are long and have branched heads some cells may not have definite shape for example white blood cells in our body are irregular in shape 
they are known as the soldiers of the body. They have to reach to different parts of the body, so they do not have a definite shape and change their shape as per the requirement. And do you know, children, very interesting thing about size of the cell? The size of the cell of an organism has no relation with the size of the body of an organism. That means an elephant cell is not bigger than a rat cell. Most of the cells are microscopic and cannot be seen with our naked eye. The size of the cell varies from very small cells of bacteria to very large unfertilized eggs of ostrich. Children, as we discussed that cells differ in their shape and size. All cells, however, show some similarities in their structure. A typical cell has three parts, cell membrane, cytoplasm and nucleus. Cell membrane. The other name for cell membrane is plasma membrane. Every cell is bound by a thin delicate membrane called plasma membrane or cell membrane. What is the function of the cell membrane? It is porous and allows entry and exit of selected substances. That is why it is also known as selectively permeable membrane. It is the outer covering of the cell and separates cell from one another. It protects the cell from injury. In addition, the plant cells and bacterial cells have an outer wall surrounding the cell membrane. This wall is known as cell wall. In plant cells, the cell wall protects cell from drastic weather conditions. Cytoplasm, it's a thick jelly-like fluid present in the cell. It is bound by the cell membrane. It occupies the space between the cell membrane and the nucleus. All the chemical reactions take place in the cytoplasm. There are cytoplasmic bodies known as cell organelles suspended in the cytoplasm. Nucleus. Nucleus is known as the brain of the cell as it controls all the activities of the cell. Further, this nucleus is divided into four parts. Nuclear membrane, nucleoplasm, nucleolus and chromosomes. Nucleus is covered by a membrane called nuclear membrane. It separates nucleus from the cytoplasm. There is a dense fluid present in the nucleus known as nucleoplasm. There are spherical bodies present in the nucleus known as nucleolus. It is rich in RNA, ribonucleic acid. There are fine thread-like structures composed of DNA present in the nucleoplasm. They are called as chromatin fibers. During cell division, these chromatin fibers condense and form chromosomes. Chromosomes contain genes. Genes are responsible to pass on the genetic characteristics from parents to the offspring. Children, do you know anything about prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells? Well, let me tell you, prokaryotic cells. Pro means primitive, karyon means nucleus. Those cells which do not have a well-organized nucleus are known as prokaryotes. Examples of prokaryotic cells are bacteria and blue-green algae. Now the eukaryotic cells. U means true, karyon means nucleus. Those cells which have well-organized nucleus are known as eukaryotic cells. Most of the plants and animals have eukaryotic cells. That is all for today. We will continue this topic in our next video lesson. Till then, 
Bye and God bless you all.